Hello friends, welcome back to the bench. So this is our Z390 gigabyte um, motherboard that we removed a PCIe slot the hard way. And short month later, <laughs> or a few weeks, we have our PCIe replacement ports or slots. And I was considering red, but I think it's gonna go better with black one. And as you can see, these are a little bit different and they're not gonna sit as well as the original was. This is slightly concerning, especially if you're planning to put a um, big uh, video card on it, which most likely you would with this, with this board. It's strictly for, maybe not strictly, but it's dedicated for gaming. So um, we'll see how that's gonna work. But, um, you know, last time I used the uh, MTech flags and C flags, that's why it was so hard. I should have used RMA. This would have been a lot easier. Not to say it would be easy, but it would be a lot easier. Now, the only thing that we damaged was that one capacitor to 20. Oh, let's see it. So, mm, that is. Mm, unfortunate because I only have a replacement to 20 which is slightly bigger next size up okay so it's slightly larger so my only concern is that it's very close to the slot so it would have to be pushed a little bit towards the this side over here right it's a bit close but we'll see we'll see i'm curious if the board is gonna work so let's just do it this way and maybe i'll manage to find a different replacement slot and I'll replace it for the second time with the little more sturdy one.
Alrighty, so does it work? No, it does not. But why does it not work? Did we mess up the soldering? Possibly. Did we damage the board? Also possibly. But I only ran the board or started the board like two or three times last time. I didn't run like diagnosis on it and I didn't check whether the GPU actually worked um, on this board. I got this board as um, faulty for parts um, thinking that the bent pins were the only issue but this is very common on eBay uh, from my experience that someone will make a tiny uh, tiny damage to the socket the CPU socket uh, to sell the board as you know, no missing pins so you just straight the pins and it'll work but I uh, strongly suspect that this was the issue with this board that it wouldn't work on the external GPU um, what I will do is probably because um, actually the other problem that was with it uh, you probably have seen it I can boot it after after I replaced the socket, the board wouldn't boot. Then I figured, uh, probably because of the leftover flux, so I took over the it took uh, the the heat sink off, uh, and I cleaned the flux again, and, and I thought that helped. But then it wouldn't turn on again. Then it would report that the CPU was uh, faulty. Then it would report that the RAM was faulty, and now. It's booting a few times in a row. I have no idea why, but there is some other fault on this board. So this was relatively a big waste of time, but this was the first, uh, my first attempt of on uh, replacing the PCIe slot. And well, I don't have the validation, the final validation, <laughs> but at least now I know how to do it. How I approached it was not the efficient way. First of all, I used wrong flags, um, and 
I guess I you probably shouldn't use the the knife tip on it because it's very easy to, to damage damage the board, especially when the flux doesn't want to flow. Um, and you need the preheater for that to do, to do it cleanly. But even without the preheater, with fried flux and a better tip, I should be able to uh, to actually do it a lot more cleaner. Uh, also, I devised a few other techniques, and I would I would approach it completely differently if I had to do it the second time. And I'll probably grab another board from the basement and and just do it again, because <laughs> now I, now I have six or five more uh, PCIe slots for replacement. So hopefully the second one will be a lot easier and hopefully successful. Um, but this one, nope, this one is not successful. Aye. It's hard to say whether it's the uh, it's my soldering or is it uh, is it the fault on the board? But judging by how this board behaves, I would expect I would expect that the board is faulty, and I'll try to find a board view for it and see if I can figure it out. Uh, on top of that, I will go over the soldering one more time and see if if this is a soldering issue. That's why we have no image on PCIe. But if there was a PCIe issue or the, the, the card, uh, there's a diode for uh, GPU, VGA, right? So that one never, never reported uh, an issue. So probably, well, maybe if there's only one lane that is poorly soldered or one of the, one of the groundings, one of the um, uh, uh, supply voltages, it could, um, it could result in this, that the, you know, the board thinks that the GPU is installed and it's producing image on it, but it won't, uh, the image won't, just won't show up on the screen. Could be. I'll spend a little more time on it and and see if I can revive it after all. But I wouldn't I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> this was not a successful repair uh, overall. Uh, very close to success, but not quite there. Um, but it, it's actually pretty sturdy, much more sturdy than I thought. Um, so that's that's not not too bad. And overall, not horrible for the first. Uh, for the first attempt <laughs> all right guys i hope you found this a little bit useful at least a little bit and thank you very much for watching and i'll see you on the next one